What is up guys? Gonna be doing some creek steelhead fishing today. I've been trying to catch fish in the big rivers and it has not been going well, so I decided to move up into some creeks, some tributaries of the bigger rivers, and hopefully find some fish. As you can see, this is the first spot I'm gonna try. Some real nice slow water, and since it's a slow water place, I was gonna try and get a jig fishing video for you guys. I know I've been doing lots of beads and spawn bags. It gets kind of repetitive. If that doesn't work, I've got spawn and beads too, so we're just gonna try and figure out these fish in here. All right guys, I've been fishing all day since sunrise. I've tried a bunch of different spots. I'm back here where we started because I gotta try something different. I've been float fishing all day and it's just not working. I'm gonna try throwing a spinner around. Hopefully the sun has warmed the water enough, got these fish active. So like I said, just gonna chuck some hardware, hopefully find an active fish before I gotta get back to school. There we go. Not a big one, but finally, finally a fish. All right guys, so I busted out the spinner there, as you can see, blue fox number two. And I caught this fish, which as you can see is beat up. I'm gonna keep it obviously because scales just flew right off of this thing, even though I got this rubber net. I thought this was just a normal skipper steelhead, but I'm pretty sure now that this is not a steelhead. If you look at this fish, it does not have the steelhead look to it, first of all. Second of all, you can tail it like nothing. And third of all, black gums. Black on the inside of the mouth, so I'm sure this will create a big giant controversy in the comments section. You guys will all be fighting, but this is a little salmon. This is not a steelhead. This is a little jack salmon. I don't know what it's doing in the river right now. It's March, late March. We're in the river here, as you can see, not pier fishing or anything, but that is not a steel hut. That I think this is a little king. That's, I'm gonna go with a little king, but all you guys who really know what you're talking about, please chime in, let me know what you think. I am gonna bonk this fish, because for whatever reason, it's super fragile. I don't think a steel hut would lose scales like that. So, um, yep, it'll be a tasty little one, that's for sure. But anyways, really bizarre, strange catch. Salmon in the river. All right guys, it's the next day and I'm gonna cook up that salmon today. It's an absolutely gorgeous day for a catch and cook. I'm out here at my usual location, got a nice little fire going. And those salmon flays are absolutely perfect, bright orange meat. And I've got time to actually cook them up properly. So I'm gonna get to cooking now. I cannot wait to taste the salmon. It's gonna be great. Check out that gorgeous orange meat. That salmon is gonna be delicious. I don't wanna take away from the flavor of the fish at all. So I'm doing a really simple recipe. Just gonna do butter and honey with garlic, then a little bit of parsley. I also noticed these little potatoes looking like absolute snacks in the store. These things look like they're gonna be really good. So I'm just gonna cook them up with some butter, probably some parsley and salt, something like that. Those are gonna be good on the side. And overall, this is just gonna be an awesome meal. I cannot wait. That is gonna be amazing, guys. All right, guys, pretty epic looking plate there. Cannot wait to tear into it. All right, guys, the time has finally come to take a bite of the salmon. It's gonna be so fresh, so perfectly delicious. That is just amazing. Wow. The honey makes it so sweet. Oh my gosh. That is by far the best salmon I've ever had. Just absolutely perfectly cooked as well. I'm definitely gonna have to try this recipe again because it just turned out absolutely perfectly. Kept the moisture in there and it kept the flavor of the salmon just absolutely right. But it also added a really nice sweetness to it and it's just, it's amazing. This is like the best meal ever. Potatoes. A little bit on the rough side. I probably should have put them in earlier, put them in way before the fish, but didn't think far enough ahead. Either way, they're still good, definitely edible. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. I only caught one fish, but I still wanted to share it with you guys. It was a really rare, really unique catch, and it made for an absolutely delicious catch and cook. That was by far my best catch and cook I've ever made. I could literally eat that for dinner every night. That was just so good. Got me excited for salmon season, honestly. But anyways, I've got a lot of exciting things coming up. I'm gonna be doing lots of fishing next week. Fishing almost every day next week, so gonna be lots of steelhead, hopefully some trout too. Should be some really awesome videos coming for you guys before I have to take a little bit of a break for finals, but the next couple days are going to be some really awesome fishing and filming. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.